。好，跟住去到第三條，佢就問翻咧，下面一二三三款嘅碳水化合物咧，最似咧喺呢個 cell P 度出現嘅。咁啊，極速睇返個 table 啦 ，cell P 我一開波已經講咗㗎啦，佢係一個植物嘅細胞。咁所以啦，返返落嚟嘅時候呢，首先有幾樣嘢呢，我哋就要留意啦。第一啦，作為一個 plant cells， 佢要去同呢個碳水化合物拉上關係嘅呢，都唔使審㗎啦。咁一定係呢個 photosynthesis。咁所以啦，第一樣呢，我哋要去理解嘅呢，就係 photosynthesis 一開波整出嚟嘅會係啲咩嘅 product 呢？當然係我哋嘅 glucose 啦。第二啦，有邊一個係攞嚟做個儲存㗎？就當然係個 starch 啦。咁所以啦，最基本呢 s t a r c h glucose 呢就已經搞掂咗㗎啦。咁唯獨就係 g l y c o g e n 呢，佢係喺我哋個 liver 嗰度去揾得見嘅。就並不是喺棵植物嗰度揾得見，所以答案亦都呼之欲出啦，就係、是、C 啦。Okay, so for question number three, which of the following carbohydrates is more more likely to be found in the cell type P? So for the cell type P, in the very beginning, I have already said that cell type P is a plant cell due to the presence of the colloplast. So that's why if we need to think about the cell type P, we need to relate to the Carbohydrates. We need to think about the photosynthesis. So that's why for the photosynthesis, the main product is the glucose, and they store the carbohydrate in form of the starch. So that's why first two answer they are correct. And for the option three, glycogen actually is present in the liver rather than in the plant cells. So that's why the answer is one and two only. C.